Now at 5:30, a mangled mess. All that's left following a deadly hit and run crash on Alligator Alley this morning. At least eight people, including several children, were taken to the hospital. One of them, a 19-year-old girl, wouldn't make it. Officials say the driver who fled the scene has been arrested. CBS 4's Ted Scott is live outside Broward General Hospital in Fort Lauderdale with the details. Ted. Yeah, certainly a tragic story here. We spoke to the mother of that little girl who died. She tells us that the family moved to Florida about a year ago from Honduras. They moved to the west coast of Florida, and that's where they were heading when this crash happened. A devastated Jesse Torres explains how her car was hit from behind, causing it to flip, killing her nine-year-old daughter, Amy Tatiana. The horrific crash happened about 3.30 in the morning on Alligator Alley. Two other girls survived and are heading home from the hospital with their mom. Investigators say it happened near the 43-mile mark. It began when two cars collided. Two vehicles that they were traveling, probably a high rate of speed, we're looking into that. Uh, one of them collided uh, with uh, the second vehicle, and that vehicle was pushed into the Chevy Blazer. That collision caused the Blazer to overturn several times. The friends and family in the SUV were heading back home to Bradenton after visiting family in North Lauderdale. We spoke to a tow truck driver who was passing by at the time. <laughs> He tells us he stopped to help when he noticed people were bleeding. That's when he and his friend realized that there was someone trapped under the blazer. He said as they hooked up his tow truck to lift the SUV, FHP arrived. He said they were able to free the nine-year-old girl who was trapped, but it was too late. The road was closed for hours in both directions. Troopers tell us part of the reason for the closure, they were looking for the drivers of the two cars. Both drivers that uh, caused the crash that we're looking into it, uh, fled on foot and were later apprehended by BSO canine units. Now, those two drivers have been released from the hospital, and to be clear, no one has been arrested in this case at this point. There have been no charges filed either. At this point, the Florida Highway Patrol said that the investigation is still continuing and charges could be pending. Live in Fort Lauderdale, Ted Scout, CBS 4 News. All right.